Hello and welcome back. We are working on question 9 in the complex trig handout. Uh, this question is not in your textbook. Okay, there are a series of triangles in here. Um, I took the liberty of blowing up our print to make it a little bigger for us to see. Hopefully be able to get a better visual of this. Okay, what we want is the distance from here to here, but what we're going to find is find the distance from this center line to the center of this circle. Then from there we'll double that and then double the radius and that'll be the overall length. There is a series of complex tri or small triangles in here. This is the first triangle. We have this distance here, and we also have this distance here in the form of this radius, which is 1.875. I'm going to try not to draw too much on this because this will be difficult to see after a while. So we're going to say this guy here is number one. That'll be the first one that we find. And what we're going to try and find is the, this length from here to here. <clears throat> Our second triangle is going to follow a parallel line. We're taking this line and extending it down to here, which is going to be a right angle triangle. Then we're going to take a parallel line from here to here. and draw that parallel line. From there to there, we are going to take a perpendicular line from there to there. Pretend that matches up perfectly. There we go. Then we're going to take another triangle <laughs> and go from the center point here the center line there. We're going to call this 2, we're going to call this guy 3, and we're going to call this guy 4. And in each part of the video I will stop and explain how we came up with each one of these. Okay. Okay. We are going to solve for triangle 1. What we have here is we have a base of 0.561 and a hypotenuse of 1.875. What we want to find is this length from here to here. Push that up a bit further. Keep the cameras view still. Okay, so I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. A squared equals B squared, oops, B squared minus C squared. So we're going to call this guy what we want is A. So A squared equals 0. Point, oopsie, 1.875 squared minus 0. 0.6, oops, 5. 6, 1. <clears throat> I'm going to do this all in one normally. I break it down. 8, 7, 5 squared minus 0. 0.561 squared equals 3.2. A squared equals 3.2. Zero zero nine nine zero four. Going to square root both of these guys. A equals one point seven 
eight nine one zero uh, whatever all round so we're going to say that this length here is 1.7891 and that's the first triangle solved okay triangle number two what do we have? We have a distance from here to here, which is 0.561. Okay, we need something else. What we're trying to do, oops, what we're trying to do is build a bridge over this length. So I want to find out this length here. So I'm going to take my 132, pretend I drew a right angle triangle down here to find out what this angle is here. Okay, so to do that I'm going to go 132 minus 90 equals 132 minus 90 equals 42 42. So therefore this angle here is 42 degrees. Okay, so if I know this angle here and I know this length, so this length here, sorry, this angle here and this length here, this length here is going to be my adjacent. This length here is going to be my opposite. And then this length here will be my hypotenuse. So what I want to find, I put on top. So I want to find the opposite over adjacent. So I go to my chart opposite over adjacent I'm going to use tan a little too much too much excitement for tan there and then here is my formula that I'm going to type in okay so I'm going to say tan tan and that is 42 degrees times 0.561 tan 42 degrees equals times 0.561 equals 0.561 five one two six 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 eight um we'll go four down and we'll scratch those guys off that's going to be our keeper right there so we're going to say the base of two equals oh point five oh five one Okay, let's solve for triangle number three. Before we get all into this too, too much, we need to figure out some of these angles. So I'm going to reproduce this drawing a little bit so I can scratch on it. I don't want to scratch on the original one. So what I have here is I have a parallel line here and a parallel line here. So I'm going to draw a line here coming down and a line here coming down. Uh, I have a line going across here I have a line going perpendicular here to here <clears throat> I have a line coming down here with a triangle here this guy here is 42 42 or 90 minus 42 equals 48 90 minus 42 equals 48. So therefore, this guy here is 48 degrees. Do we agree? Yes? Great. If that's 90, this guy's 90. So therefore, 48 plus 90 minus 180 is going to be 42. Wish I would have made that a little bigger. It's hard to see. 
So this guy here is 42. 42, 90, this guy here is 48. Okay, 48, 180 minus 48 equals 132. So we found this angle here as well. We found this angle here and this angle here. So it all depends on which angle you want to do when you do your next move. Let's draw out our triangle. So we said this guy here is 42. We'll use 42. What is this height from here to here? I don't know. Let's take a look down here. This radius is 0.4935. So the height from here to here, drawing a parallel line across, is going to be 1 half. Oh, that is radius, so it is that number. I kept thinking it was diameter. So it's this number here. Okay, so that number there is 0.4935 okay if this is my angle this is my adjacent this is my hypotenuse and this is my opposite so I want to find my hypotenuse so it goes on top right so what's hypotenuse over adjacent let's take a look at our chart hypotenuse over adjacent secant or the inverse of cos or sort of the inverse of cosine so here is the formula that we're going to use cos which is 42 degrees equals second function 1 over equals times 0 0.4935 hopefully we can see that on the video let's type that into our calculator and see what we got always double check to make sure we're on degrees I can't stress that one enough 42 degrees equals 42345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345345
is our base. Okay, so we need to find our angle. So let's draw out our triangle here. We have the base. We have this angle. That angle is 132. We have this angle up top here that's 11.2156. So 180 minus bracket 132 plus 112.156 bracket. 180 minus bracket 132 plus 11.2156 bracket equals this angle here equals 36.7844 36.7844 for this guy so now what we want to find here is this height from here to here that's our height how do we go about doing that we are going to use oops the law of cotangent law of cotangent which is l length uh, cot a angle a plus cot angle b well let's draw this out uh, first it's this length here is 0 0.6199 0.6199 uh, cut 36.7844 plus uh, cut 132 how do we do that tan it's the inverse of cotangent tan 36.7844 equals second function 1 over equals 1 point 1 point three three seven four eight six six four three <clears throat> plus 10 132 equals second function 1 over equals a negative not oh, oh point 0.9 oh, oh, four, oh, four, oh, four, four. 130 oh, 1.337486 six, Four three plus bracket point nine oh oh four oh four oh four four negative bracket equals oh point six one nine nine over 0.43708 clear 0.6199 divided by 0.4 oh come on now 0.6199 divided by 0.4370825 Nine nine equals one point four one eight two six seven three nine seven. Okay, so we have this number here one point four eight one point four one eight. We're going to say three, and we're going to leave it at that. Okay, here we are here. 
this number here is 1.4183 plus 2 this number hang on let's write it out 1.4183 plus the radius which is 0 0.4935 times 2 because that's the distance from here to here plus this and then this distance is twice the distance to come up with X okay so back to here again flipping papers so let's see what we got here 1.4183 plus 0.4935 times 2 equals 1.4183. Well, that number is not right. Let's try that again. 1.4183 plus 0.49 three five equals times two equals that's more like it you need to put that by itself three point eight two three six you turn around and you say Ray let's move that on over there three point eight two three six well, I'm off by two tenths we all do the best we can. <laughs> so you might not get the exact number. It's rounding. They may have rounded in spots that I didn't round. I hope that this helps. This was a bit of a project. There was quite a few five triangles.